Good morning. How are you? First of all, I'm going to apologize for my crazy, crazy, crazy hair. My hairdresser would not be happy with me today, but uh, I got up a little late and I still needed to get this in for you so that you can watch it before you come on. Okay. So I'm going to take you through the morning meeting this morning. We're going to talk about something called a Venn diagram, which is really light on here. So it's kind of hard to see. Um, but I'm going to write in black, so hopefully you'll be able to see it then. Um, I'm also going to talk to you about Fun Friday tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, and in costume. So I would like you to wear your costume. You either are 9 or 11, it doesn't matter. Both times we will still be dressed up. I want you to... Um, talk. We're going to talk about what you're going to do for Halloween. If you're going to do anything, some people may not still okay and tomorrow we're also gonna bob for apples yeah so if you can you want a bucket of water and an apple but I'm gonna do it for you first because I never ask you to do something that I wouldn't do for myself mm -hmm. crazy I'm always crazy which is uh, why you love me you ready good morning awesome apples awesome apples two sound two a sounds at the beginning awesome has a little bit of a different a sound but apples a apple a ah, is the one that we use all the time even for the sound that we use at school right a apple a ah. you have those flashcards. make sure that you are trying those those were in bag number two i am getting bag number three ready for you has some different things in it this time um you know i like to surprise you there's some watercolor paint in there, which I think Jaylene's going to be really excited about. She gets very excited when there's paint. So we have some watercolor paint this time. Um, last time I gave you the paint to use on your pumpkin. The time before that, I gave you all the craft materials. I, told, I like to make sure that you're getting the full school experience, right? So if you were in school, these are the things that we would be doing. So these are the things you're going to be doing. So there's a turkey craft in there, and there's um, a new... A workbook to work through. There's a shape book because we are really, really pounding those shapes. We want to make sure that we know even the hard ones like octagon and hexagon and trapezoid. Rhombus, I think, might even be in that book. Mm, I don't know if we talked about a rhombus. You better look in there. You never know what's in that magic bags, right? So magic bag number three, we are going to make arrangements for you to pick up probably when we get back from teachers convention. So next week you only have three days of work and then we are off Thursday and Friday. I have to, it's again, it's always me. I still have to work, you have off. But um, when we come back that week, I'll make arrangements for you to come in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever, I'll come to school and we'll have a little drop off. Maybe we'll have a little, you know, time where we can play together for a few minutes. You know, it's really hard because we're home and, and there are other people at school, but it's a very different situation. So your family chose for you to be home with me and we're really lucky because we do get to play together every single day, right? We dance, we sing, we do fun things together, fun activities. I sent all of that stuff home to you, but, um, I want, you know, I want you to get the school experience. So maybe we'll have a little drop off. And if we have a little drop off, then maybe you can come and spend some time with me. Okay, we shall see. Let's keep going. Today is Thursday. So we did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today is Thursday. Please make sure you are checking that seesaw. Some of you are so good. You do everything every day and some of us forget. So make sure you're jumping on there. Um, it's going to be very important. There's also a gross motor board on there. This week, I really want you to focus on making sure that you're doing the gross motor things too. Playing is how you learn. Playing inside, outside, doing physical activity is how you learn. I also know, happen to know that Evelyn uses yoga every morning to calm her body. Remember we talked about that at the beginning, calm your mind, calm your body. Yoga is a great way to do that. So if, she, you know, she could count that every day. I know Dustin goes for a walk when he's at his mom's every single day 
Topanga's been having all kinds of races. She's galloping. She's doing all of those things. I'm so glad that you're sending me those videos because those are the things that I really want to see. I want to see you playing. If you're just playing, like Topanga also sends me her artwork every day. I love that. I love to see your extra things that you're doing at home as well. Kehlani too. Kehlani usually makes things out of Play-Doh or something and then sends me the pictures or shows me what she made. Love that. Love that. I got great videos from KJ the other day doing all kinds of the physical activities and he's good at them. Super good at them. He can plank way longer than me. <laughs> but um, go, go ahead and send me that stuff too. I, I don't want to just see the stuff that's on there. I want to see all of it. I want to see everything that you do so that I get a really good feel of what you're doing for school at home. Okay, you ready? Apple vocabulary. So these are the words that we've learned so far from the science books that I do read. So I pre-read those, even sometimes they're upside or they're sideways. Yeah, Evelyn told me I need to really work on that editing and I'm gonna. <laughs> but sometimes they're the wrong way. That's okay, just turn it, turn it or turn your head like this. And watch but they're the science books that go with the whatever study we're doing we're doing pumpkins and apples this last few weeks um all of the books that i've put on there are just the science books that go with it um the fun books i do read though so come on at 11 o'clock because i read the super fun books so i read pete the cat and i read spooky wheels on the bus actually I let another lady read that one um and pumpkin jack and some really cute fun fun books so try that for me all right vocabulary orchard an orchard is the place where you pick apples tomorrow virtual field trip watch that and you'll see the kids actually on an orchard Seed, you guys are great at these, but I sliced open those apples for you so you could see the seeds inside. I also sent you pumpkin seeds because those look different, right? Apple seeds are small and black. Pumpkin seeds are a little bit larger and, and white, or since I toasted them already, that yours were a little brown. Not black like the ones that I burnt. <laughs> Sprout, that's when the plants start coming up, both apples and um, pumpkins had sprouts. Both apples and pumpkins had blossoms. That's when the flower comes out before the fruit starts growing. But pumpkins were on a vine. Apples are on a tree, right? Pollen. Now that's that yellow powdery stuff that helps seeds spread. Core. That's the center of the apple. Now did a pumpkin have a core? Mm -mm. It just had that fleshy stuff on the inside. Um, but an apple has that hard core where the seeds are. Cider. So cider was that special kind of apple juice that was made with that cider press. A couple of the books had those where they would press the apples and the juice would come out and it had a special filter. That's what apple cider is. Now, like right now, at a lot of the farm stands, they have apple cider. They also have apple cider donuts, which I cannot recommend it out. Okay, so we are going to practice comparing. We're gonna compare pumpkins to apples. We're gonna use, this is called a Venn diagram. So when you see these large circles with the space in the middle, those are called Venn diagrams. So this side would be stuff that would just be for pumpkins, and this side would be stuff that would just be for apples. But the stuff in the middle would be for both. So for example, both of them grew from seeds, right? Both pumpkins and apples grew from seeds. So you would put that in the middle. See, it's still in the pumpkin circle and it's still in the apple circle. It's inside of both, even though it overlaps. That's tricky, right? But that's fun. So this is a very, very grown up thing too. This is called a Venn diagram. You will see those all the way through college. So see that? You guys are way ahead. You're already doing college work. So something that would just be for pumpkins would be the vines, right? That's just pumpkins. Or something that would just be for apples would be they grew on a tree. But they both had sprouts. And they both had roots. Mm, see how tricky that is? So this is both 
this is pumpkins, this is the apples. So I want you to see if you can think of something that would just be pumpkins and something that would just be apples. So when you pop on at nine o'clock, that's what we're gonna talk about. Something that would just be pumpkins and something that would just be apples, okay? So have a wonderful Thursday. I will see you at nine o'clock live. I will see you at 11 o'clock live as well. So watch both the morning meeting, this morning meeting video, and then also before you come on at 11, try to watch the, the video for apple picking is actually what it is. Okay, have a wonderful day. I will see you in a little bit.